what I mean by creeping hands is you always want your hands to creep toward your opponent. So what happens is, is most people when they throw a punch is they start from the point where their hand is and then they throw the punch, which is inefficient. I mean, it's not that it couldn't hurt, it's just really big and easy to see. What you want to do in life is you want to learn to place your hands and creep them toward your opponent so he doesn't see it. And then at the last second you want to fire. So it's not like a, like a big swing. It's I put my hand in place and then I swing and I explode at the end. So most people punch like this. They come back and they swing. Which again is powerful. Don't get me wrong. It, it's not that it doesn't work. It's just you can see it a long ways away. I mean if I went like this and went like that, you guys would see that and you would move, I would hope. What I want ideally is I want to put my hands into position and then I want to fire. So what I'm doing is if you watch, if I was with somebody, I'm working like this, I put my hands, I get into position, then I fire through it. So as I come through, put hands right through. So why I like this is because the hands have to creep on all directions. It's not like a straight punch, a hook, an uppercut. It depends on where they are. If I had to find an angle and place my hand here, that's where I would throw. If I had to place my hand down from here, that's where I would throw. So you gotta learn to kind of work your way in, place the hand, and shoot it. So if I was like this, and I go like this, he knows it's coming, right? But if we're like this, and I just kind of place it, and then I fire the hand, right? If I'm kind of putting it, and I kind of Watch, I'm going to glide the hand slowly. See, I just glide it over, then I throw the punch. So what you want to do is you want to slide it, hit it. I place my hand where I like it, then I throw it. A lot of people punch wrong. What they do is they think the shoulders and the arms are what generate the force. It's not. It's you and your center and your legs that generate the force. So the hand just delivers the force. So you don't need as big a swing as you think you do. What you need is to get the hand in position and then you need to transfer your weight properly and your mass through that arm and then have enough snap on it at the end to create damage. When you're playing around, screw around with this. You know, as you're moving, don't always just fire from where your hands are. See how if he's moving his hands, I'm moving in and I slide and then I throw it. Right, and I slide and I throw it. I slide and throw it. I always want to slide my hands to the positions they are and then they get easier to throw. It's a little bit of an advanced skill, but play with it. Seriously, like, pick your hands up sometimes. Just drift them up to where you feel comfortable, and then feel your weight shifts through. Pick your hand up in another position. Feel your weight shifts through it. Put your, creep your hand to another position, and feel your weight shifts through it. If you can learn to place your hands properly and throw them, they'll be harder to see coming. They'll be harder to defend. And you'll still get that kind of power much closer, so you get more off. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Hit that notify button. Thank you for everything you guys have done to make this channel grow.